Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do an author taste test of Katriana Ward, a horror author that made it onto the scene with The Last House on Needless Street, which released last year, and her new release, Sundial, which released earlier this year. So as you guys know, I am definitely trying to get more into horror, slowly but surely trickling in, you know, um, and this is an author that definitely is like one of those like buzzworthy books, authors, that sort of thing. So I thought I would give her a try. Unfortunately, this taste test is a little bit of a bust because I already know I'm DNFing The Last House on Needless Street. Yeah, unfortunately, this video is starting with a DNF. I read a hundred and 74 pages of this one 28 pages physically and then i put it aside um in those 28 pages i was just bored like immediately bored here's what i wrote i said serious question i know this book is supposed to be confusing because of the reveal but if i've been spoiled is it still worth reading and um 58 said i think so 37% said, nah, you're better off reading something else. And only 5% said, read Sundial. So I don't know if that's going to be a theme for this vlog or not. But um, yeah, so I gave this one a go, was kind of bored, asked the Instagram peeps because I was thinking maybe I'm not connecting with it because I already know the spoilers. Um, I don't know like let me feel this out and then I was like okay they think I should forge ahead so today I went on like a three almost four mile walk today and I listened to up to page 174 and not only was I just completely bored but I just started tuning it out and thinking about I should just turn this off and turn on my music you know um, but I kept trying to push through and I kept trying to listen to it and it seemed like a good audiobook. Like there were different, I don't know how many actors or whatever there were. I've already returned the audiobook, but, um, the audiobook seemed pretty good. I just couldn't get into the story. Like there were just all these like random things happening and nothing was like connecting and maybe it is because of the reveal and I'm not spoiling it for anybody. I'm here for the reading update of Sundial by Katriana Ward and I can already tell that this author is definitely not for me. The writing is just really weird. Nothing seems to be connecting 
and I just, I am so bored. I'm really glad I got both of these from the library because these would be unhauls immediately. I have made it to page 111 and initially you just got to meet the family. So you have Rob and Irving, the mom and dad, and then they have two kids and Callie is kind of like the focus of the story. Um, she's the oldest daughter and she seems to be, Rob and Callie don't have the best relationship. Um, Callie is definitely closer to her dad and but Rob kind of starts discovering strange things in Callie's room and for that reason she thinks I need to take her to Sundial and Sundial is the house where like she grew up it's out in the desert which I do like that setting I'm not getting enough of it quite yet but it seems like just strange weird crazy things happened when she was a child at Sundial and I don't understand it. It seems like maybe she was like homeschooled and her parents were hippies, but her mom died young and then her dad remarried this other woman that was like his research assistant or something like that. And there's a whole bunch of like maggots in the book. There's animal abuse in the book. There's all of these like weird things that I just don't understand the point of them yet. So to be completely honest, outside of the story, I just don't like the writing itself. And I can't pick out, it's not like the word choices. It just feels all disjointed. All right, I am so confused. So I just finished reading Sundial by Katriana Ward and I pushed myself through this book. My own husband told me to DNF this book. I feel like I wasted a day of my life reading this book. I mean, obviously it didn't take me the full day, but I just feel like I wasted the day, you know? Um, and for the most part, I was just, I'm gonna say for like 95% of it, I was completely bored, nothing made sense, I didn't care, I just literally, I was like, I'm not gonna rate this. Because I was like, what do I do? Do I give it one star? And then I was like thinking like, no, maybe I just don't rate it. I just, you know, <laughs> write my thoughts and like don't give it a star rating. And um, then I injured my ankle and I have a nice <laughs> ace bandage on my ankle now. Um, and also I got a blister on that toe. <laughs> so I'm falling apart over here. But um, so I'm kind of falling apart over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. I literally don't know what to rate this book because like I said, I would even say 98%. I was like super effing bored. Didn't make sense, didn't like the character, didn't understand the story, didn't like the plot or the pacing. Everything felt disjointed and I still feel that way having read it, but, but, the shit that happened at the end though, that was good. That was good. Um, does it make up for the entire novel? Hell no, because a lot of the stuff just feels useless. I feel like this would have been a better short story. You know what I'm saying? Um, because the last little bit was like, pretty interesting now there were there was a lot of things in here that i didn't like like the experimentation the whole animal things with the dogs did not like that um yeah but man that ending though and also i don't like how it didn't give us 
that conclusion. You know, it was a little open-ended, if you will, um, which was fine, but damn, I kind of wish that it wasn't, you know? Anyway, all I know is that the ending was like, I mean, I've definitely never read a story like that before, you know? But getting there, holy shit, it was, it was painful to say the least. So now I'm wondering, do I finish this now just to find out like what happens in the end? Because, uh, you know, like I don't know, do I go back and do I read this or do I just like give it up? I'm so confused what I should do. Um, I think for this little experiment here today. Um, I'm going to keep this a DNF for now, but let me know what you think because I know people generally have liked this one more than this one for people that have read both. Um, it is 290 pages. I think it could have been 150 pages to be like serious and I think that would have been epic because there were also like these parts um where the mom Rob is like I guess this is the story that she writes but it's based on a story that she like read or and like the thing is is that the, this story these Arrowwood chapters they happen several times throughout the story um but they don't seem to relate to the story in any way but they have a lot of the same names that the characters from the normal or the regular story or the main story does so i don't really understand what the point of that story was um so if that would have been cut out and if maybe some of the the beginning was good setting up the characters in the beginning but maybe like that whole part in the beginning when they first get there to the um sundial maybe that and then got right into like what was happening I don't know I think if it was 150 pages it would have been amazing but alas it wasn't and I was just so freaking bored so I think I'm gonna give it two stars maybe I don't know one star two star I don't know I'm gonna have to think about it that's why I'm so confused but for now I'm gonna keep this as a DNF and rate this like one or two stars so that being said I am done with this Katriana Award reading vlog author taste test and I just I really don't know what to think I don't think her writing is for me um it's just too boring, nothing pulling me in, but the ending is explosive. And that's what I have heard about this one as well. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Went a little bit different than other author taste test videos have, but that's why I do these. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night. And yeah, I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye.